Oh, let me talk to you up there. Yeah, my relatives. Uh, this is uh, Kenny Shields again. Um, today we're going to go and visit this um, uh, the Cuthead Band where they had camped uh, years ago uh, for generations. They have uh, been in this area. As we can see, these uh, rings on the ground here, there were hundreds of them. And uh, each summer they would come and uh, camp here. As we can see, if you look to that, you know, the, the south of here is the Missouri River, and they camped on this promontory so that they would, uh, for the prevention of mosquitoes, and it was cool during the day, and there's also water that they, they have access to. In this area where Cut had um, camped, uh, they'd come here every season, every year. They camped the same place, and each uh, teepee ring had its own uh, place where relatives uh, recognized that they camped the same area. And to for from the uh, to the south and west of here is where uh, Chief Gull was camped at, and where uh, he was fired upon by by cannon fire by U.S. cavalry, and the Lieutenant Ilges was the uh, commander at that time. And it was a peaceful village, and there was about like uh, 400 uh, people there, and uh, oh, about half of them were, were killed during that time. That was Chief Gall's camp. So this area here is owned by the Bighorn family too, Ernie Bighorn and, and, and Jimmy. And they, they too want to preserve this uh, place uh, for uh, future generations. And it would be a, a great idea if this could be a, a study on it for cultural awareness and also for uh, protection that uh, these sites need to be recognized as a federal or, or uh, Indian place where uh, we have ancestors that have always camped here. This needs to be preserved. This is vital and it's very important and that we teach these things in our schools and our education systems and that well, as these places are protected here, we need to have visitors come and recognize so that they can recognize that these areas are sacred and that they cannot be desecrated.